Hello! You've only just heard my voice, but you haven't actually seen me. Let me just fiddle with this silly thing again. I want you to be able to see me. Seems like everyone that's doing video today is getting a, a nice glow. I'll wait for you all to join. And I'll just uh, fiddle with my laptop a minute while I'm waiting for you. Who have I got? Who's online? Got two people. Let me just go and turn this lamp on in the background see if it gives me a bit better light. So it is dark up here because it's um well it's proper bedroom but it's um it's three floors my house. I know I told you some of you that before. And the top floor is ensuite, which is behind the mirror. Um, it's just massive. It's my own bathroom. Don't don't do kids sharing. <laughs> that makes me sound awful. I just like having my own bathroom with all my beauty essentials, and uh, and my bedroom. And then below me is the kids' bedroom, and then the bottom floor is kitchen, living room, another bathroom, garden, so on. So there you go. <laughs> Hi. I've purposely left my makeup off today as well. I haven't got anything on at all because I don't know what's in this box. So I figured there might be something that I can try while I'm live. So I'll just hang on. Just saw a couple of you. Just bear with me. I'm still marking the raffle as well while I'm on this. There's, by the way, there's um, 22 left. Right. Sorry, Jane, I'm going to have to carry on my unboxing. You'll figure out where the raffle post is. It's not so raffle's not over till it's sold out. So we're all good. Right. Who have we got? Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh by the way, everyone, look at my eyebrows. These are nine days now since I've had them done. Had them done on the Friday. So yeah, nine days. They're healed. Can you see? I don't know if you can get a good view. But I'm really quite impressed with uh, my eyebrows very impressed in fact they do need slightly touching up but if anybody saw before I didn't have brows like this unless I put um, liner and browsing on they just weren't there but I had a bit of hair but they were dead light so I'm very impressed and I can go like this with my eyebrows microblading is definitely the way forward everybody needs to get their eyebrows microbladed if you haven't got any because it didn't hurt so any of you that said it did hurt I think you all need special help <laughs> I thought it was really quite good. I am very impressed. I paid £150 for mine. Uh, a lady called Kerry Wilkinson in Barrow. And I am going to plug her on my video because I think she was very good and also very reasonable because I know a lot of people charge double what she does. And I think they're good. I won't lie. Don't do lying. So, we have... Hello, Katie. Have you recovered now, Katie? Had a nice big fat roast in there. I'm so jealous. We have... Ichiko Bento. I'm hiding this nail, look. I've chipped it. Oh, there we go. Can you see the box? So, I'll just turn it up so you can see what it's like there. Trying to get it all in the camera. I don't know what's in it. I have seen posts on the group. I'm not going to lie. I look at everything. As you know, it is my baby. This group is my baby. 
In fact, it's probably more than my baby because my own kids sometimes don't get as much time as this group do. That sounds terrible. No, they do. I'm joking. But yes, I have looked at the post. So I do know what's going on with Vitrico Bento. We'll cross that when I've unboxed it and we've had a look what's in it. Okie dokie. Thanks, Melissa. I'm very happy with them. All I have to do now is just tweeze the little bits underneath here and that's it. I, I just do them and leave them. That's it. Nothing on my face. I've had a shower before, so... I'm going to do this one thing at a time. First item. What does it say? The plain book. I don't actually know if it's plain or lined paper and it is sealed. 116 sheets made in Korea. Uh, what I'm going to do is when I do the review, this is a little bit more difficult doing an unboxing on this because I know we've had um, both Katie and um, Michelle both done unboxings today. Now they come with the sheet which tells you how much things are but of course the back of some of these, the prices are in, what's the currency? Right, I'm not even going to try and pretend that I know but it says W8.500 so yeah i don't i don't know the the conversion of a currency until i look it up but i will do it uh, and i will look and try and find out what's the closest price on each website so we know exactly how much uh, the box is worth and each individual price so i always do it it's something i've always done i like to see how much we are getting for our money so that was a notebook i'm going to leave the paraphernalia that comes with it to one side and read it at the end just in case there's any sneaks we don't want that the second item is they're cute. Hello Kitty point pads. I don't actually know what these are. I have seen you talking about it. Let me have a look at the back. But I mean, obviously it's in Korean, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to read that, but there are some diagrams. Can you see just here? There's like little diagrams that tell you. You can put them on your cheek on your face on your feet I'll have to look them up because I've never come across anything like that before cherry blossom I can't smell through the packet I don't want to open them I am going to try something so I'll let you know what things I like I always try it if we get given a box I always try and try half of it at least before I do a proper full review so the next item in my box in the Ichiko Bento box is Cherry Jelly Lips Patch Vitalizing. What do you think, guys? Does it suit me? Now, Michelle told me that what I have to do is um, put these on live on video, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So, um, sorry, Michelle. I'll take a picture of maybe put my face mask on and my lip mask and stuff, see what I look like later. Take some pictures for the uh, website. I mean, I don't know what these are, but I can guess um, because obviously I've used collagen masks before and it says vitalizing hydro care. Um, it is in Korean, as you can see. I'm going to use my other hand because I don't like the fact I've got a chipped nail on a video. Uh, and the back is in Korean, but does it say... Yeah, it's for... It does actually say moisturising and plumping your lips. It's in very, very tiny, tiny writing at the bottom. But as I say, when I do a full write-up for the website, it'll have full details of what they're for. I will tell you. But it's always nice to do an unboxing. I don't know what's in it, so I'll get to... Yeah, I'm looking at these and it's really hard. I'm going to hold that up because obviously a lot of it is in Korean, so I'm trying to um, figure out what's for what. Now this is, there isn't any English on this one at all. Um, it looks like a sleep mask. I think it's pretty similar to, um, what was that one that came in Annie's box? The Artemis and Xena one. I think it looks like something pretty similar to that. Uh, because on the back, if you don't know if you can see that there, on the back it shows you like a picture of a bottle of oil and some like flowers or like lavender. Or something and then it shows you the little picture here and it shows you how to put them on and how it unfolds and then on the picture on the front has got it the picture of her wearing it so 
Is it a heated one? Thank you. Yeah, actually, do you know, it does say 40 degrees C underneath it. So I knew it was pretty much something to do with sleeping because obviously it's got sleep and said signs on it. But thank you for telling me that because I didn't know. But I do now. But I would have found out later. But it's always nice for someone to say what it is while I'm struggling to figure it out. Okay, next item is marine collagen. This one actually has English. Are they similar to space masks? I think so, Annie. Possibly. Similar sort of idea though, isn't it? It's like to help you relax at night time go to sleep. Anyway, um, marine collagen lifting essence petal mask. And this is a two-part mask. I have used these type of ones before. I haven't used this one. But it's got the sheep bit mask on the top. And then the bottom is 100% pure camellia oil. So it's a step one and a step two. And it does tell you how to do them, but I do know because you put the oil on first and then you put the mask on later. Um, step one pouch helps absorb deeply. Step two pouch lifting essence with marine collagen and blueberry extract. I, I gotta be honest, I absolutely love a sheet mask. I'd be totally lying if I said that I don't open this box and the first thing I, I zoom in on is a sheet mask because I love them, I use them all the time. Anyone on this group knows I'm a bit of an addict. I've got, I think I've got about, well, I've got 27 now. <laughs> I can't it last night, there's 25. <laughs> I've got some more coming in the post as well, but I absolutely love a sheet mask. So you can't go wrong with that for me. That will 100% definitely get used and I'll try that one for the website just because, um, you know, it's one of my favourite things, so, you know, I'd be daft not to try that one. Oh, thank you, Hannah. I'm very impressed with them. I, I, you'll see if you play the video back. <laughs> I was talking about my brows earlier. So, the next item on the list is another sheet mask. Again, that's why I said 27, because I could see the other one in the box. <laughs> this one is a, a three-step. I've never used a three-step sheet mask. I have used the two-step ones. Um, now, this one is... Step one is the essence, which is similar to the other one where it's step step one and step two. You put the essence on first, then you put the sheet mask on. And then the third step on this, it says eye cream. So, you know, that's not a bad idea because sometimes I do put my eye cream on afterwards after I've done a sheet mask, you know, because you put your sheet mask on and it goes under here, doesn't it? And then like over here. So you're kind of missing out this area. Um, and I always like get the excess and like rub it in my face afterwards but sometimes you have to be careful because they'll have ingredients you're not supposed to rub into your eye area so read them first because I do know instances people have done that and uh, had uh, obviously reactions on their eyes because you you know they, they do avoid it for that reason but that one's quite good because you know put the eye cream on afterwards so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that one as well I'm gonna do that one I'm gonna do that one Mel sheet mask fan one tonight, one tomorrow maybe. And to go with my sheet mask. Haven't seen all of the other sleep masks. I have just ordered seven from Hong Kong for two thirty nine. I've never tried them, so I think I should try them though. Give it, if, you know, a bit of chance. And this one is. I'm gonna open this one. Let's have a go. This is the next item. Ichiko Bento plush headband. That's what they're getting all. Oh my god. Who dares me? I've got a big head actually. This is going to be embarrassing if this doesn't go on my head. Should I just put it on like this? <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> Don't laugh. I know you're all laughing right now. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> it does fit just. It's a little bit. Oh my God. How cute. I should just leave that on there. Michelle, are you watching? Look at my little ears. <laughs> I've got bunny ears. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave that on. I think it quite suits me. Tuck my ears in. <laughs> yeah, I look dead fabulous. You know, I do, a headband's a good idea because I always use headbands. In fact, I have a drawer here. It's like sort of like my mask drawer. So I'll keep my headbands in there so I can put on. There's another one there. So I want to do a sheet mask, I tie my hair back because, you know, that's what you do, don't you? Don't want to get all that soggy stuff in your hair. So yeah, I think it will get it will get used and if it doesn't, and my little sister's going to love it because look at those ears, you know. Yeah, keeps the hair out, keeps your hair out of the way. You're going to put your mask on. 
And the last item in the box is, and I did know about this one because this is the one where you had a choice on. So I'm going to open it. Just bear with me. Good for children in need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is actually because it's spotty, isn't it? So, you know, I don't think my son's going to wear it though. But, you know, my sister might. She's 11. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay. So, Clean It Zero by Benilico. I have heard of these before because I have done um, another Korean beauty box and they had something from there in there. Award winning, skin friendly, hypoallergenic, sorbo. So, can't read. Sorbe like lightweight cleanser that goes on as a solid balm and transforms into a silky oil while effortlessly dissolving even tenacious makeup and impurities without stripping the skin. Well, I've got no makeup on, but you know, because I said there was something in here, I was going to try it. Let me just move that box. Loving the ears. <laughs> it's the deluxe. I'm just going to have a look. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I am a fan of Korean beauty stuff. When it comes to masks, Korean beauty is, you know, it's the, the best. You can't get sheet masks better than if they come from Korea. And that isn't just me that will say that. You ask any of the girls on the group and they'll tell you. And I tell you the biggest difference between Korean stuff that I notice, especially the sheet masks, is the better quality. You get a mask and it comes from Superdrug and they tend to be like flimsy little pieces of paper. You get the masks from Korea and they, I've had an, I had an excellent one the other month. We went on holiday and it was two pieces and it had infused coffee and it was like gel sheets. And one bit was there and one bit was for that and it was absolutely, honestly, one of the best masks I've ever had. I only paid £4 for it. And you know, you buy them from Superdrug, fair enough, you can buy them for a pound, but they are bits of paper. And every time I put a, a sheet mask on from um, Superdrug, it's ripped, and that's no good. You try it like this, try to stick it back to your face. I mean, it's a bit pointless because it takes away the whole relaxation of it. So, I'm gonna take it's got a little thing. Oh, that does smell really nice. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I don't know what it smells like. I can't you put it on my face because it is far. I'll put a little bit on there. But essentially what you do is it's like um it doesn't feel like wax, it's sort of like a mix between wax and cream. It's not gel like at all, it's like a solid it's a massive tub. I don't know how much it is, but I'll price it. It's got one of them little scoops with it. And then it's got one of them, you know, that you put back on the lid because I've took the lid off let me find let me just rub it in it smells really nice really really nice I can't explain it at all I'm gonna to have to have a look what's in it on the website because that's lovely I, you know you're always gonna impress me and you get something like that because I'm well into my cleansers my toners pixie I use a lot of um, sheet mask I use a lot of now there is an item missing from this box, which I presume every single one of you know about already. I'm just going to put the lid back on that. Um, yeah, you can get some of them TK Maxx. Yeah, you can because I've had some from there. And the hand cream, Korean hand cream, I've got some. It's the best hand cream I've ever had. You won't even think about it from looking at it. It's in this little pot and it looks like it's a little cat. I got it from Bommy Box the best hand cream I've ever had and I've tried well you've see, all seen my hands I properly look after them like a lot because I grow my own nails and so it's one of them things you know you, I'm a bit OTT about it <laughs> but you know when it's took me years to the grow them I will but that's the best hand cream I've ever used if anyone wants to know what it is ask me afterwards and I'll show you but it's really really nice and it's like a few quid Um, never tried a better one and I've tried probably in the region of a couple of hundred so <laughs> you all know I'm an addict, I'm not gonna lie. So um so yeah, let's pop that back. That's full size. So we've got that obviously the full size product, and then I've got the two face masks, um, heated eye mask, 
the lip mask, the point pads, um, the book, and my headband. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe the item that's missing is um, a lip balm. And I did have a message from um, Joanna at Ichiko Bento. I'm just going to read this that come with the box. Hello, and thank you for subscribing to Ichiko Bento. A special thanks for sticking with us as we deal with the hiccups of a startup and in international shipping. Our mission is to bring you a gorgeous selection of goodies from Japan, Korea and Taiwan to make you smile and to brighten your day. Most of all, we hope you enjoy taking the time out to treat yourself, your beautiful self, should I say, <laughs> um, so you feel great in your own skin. Whether the sun is shining or in the midst of summer rain, you can bloom. We hope you love this first bento. Now, does it tell you about anything? Yes, it does. So I can have a good look at this. It has got all of the details. It shows you beauty routines, bloom contents, tells you what's in it. Doesn't tell you the prices. I will look them up, don't worry. I'll let you know. I do the full review so you can tell me. Now, the only thing I am going to say, oh, I wish I'd have got the lip scrub. Oh, God, I love a lip scrub. I can't believe that's not in there. I've got it now. It says about a lip scrub, and I really love lip scrubs. So we were talking about it earlier. You see that one there. I've heard of Innisfree as well. That's another brand I've heard of. I have to be honest. Um, I'm going to say something really controversial here. You could give me Clinique, and you could give me some Korean products, and I'd buy Korean every day of the week. Because I think that Clinique and things like that are overpriced and all I need to really do now apart from look silly in my headband is find um, products that match up to the stuff that I use in Korean items like I need to find a good um, glycolic toner that Korea, um, a, a Korean brand because the stuff I've used so far from Korean products I think uh, heads and shoulders above any British French whatever skincare brand and I've been using skincare for a long time so that's my take on it anyway um that aside i do think the whole box issue with everything being late it's not great um but you've got to give them the benefit of the doubt this is their first box um it must be hard because i did have a personal message from the lady who owns the company Ichiko Bento and she did explain to me all the problems that they've had um, with their fulfillment company and how they put trust in them and people have had missing items now you know as you know I've run businesses and things like that I do know how it works um, but I can understand it is upsetting for them now from I can see it both sides of the fence because um, I wouldn't be happy if my box had turned up late and I'd been waiting two months for it. But also at the same time, imagine you're a mum and a business and putting everything you've got into that business and then being let down time after time after time. So I think, you know, this isn't necessarily a girl crush situation. I think with the girl crush, they had a, a bad couple of first boxes. And what they didn't do is acknowledge it with their customers. Whereas Ichiko have said, um, listen, we're really sorry. There has been mistakes. So give them the benefit of the doubt, girls. Um, watch out for the second box. If you don't want to subscribe to the second box and you want to wait, that's fair enough. Um, see what's in it. See what happens with it. That's that's fine. I totally understand that. I would be in the same situation. But what I do believe is that everyone deserves a second chance. If the next box comes out and they get it wrong, um, fair enough, you know. You just said, well, it's not for me, it hasn't worked. Um, but I do feel a bit bad for her because I do know she puts a lot into it. That's all I'm going to say. But the, the box itself, I'm going to price it up. I don't think, personally, I think I'd be more happier paying for that if it was 18 to £20, pound, but there is an item missing, so I have to bear that in mind. Um, but I'll price it up, put the review up, put the pictures up, let you make your own mind up. They do... I don't know if there's um, a discount Alaska um, and see what's going to see what's going to happen if we can include a discount on the next box. Um, but yeah, just given the benefit of the doubt, guys, everyone deserves a bit of a second chance. And I am nice like that. Um, I'm not going to go slate in a box. I do understand there is problems and things missing and things like that. And it's not great, but at least, you know, give them the chance 
to sort it out if they don't sort it out and it gets messed up that's fine you know you got your part ways then don't you so no not again but i am going to do a treble review uh, i've got butech coming um should be this week so i've got butech i've got mask maven i have done a review for bommy box and obviously i'm midway through um doing this one um, so I'm going to do a treble with you and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sort of like a star system and um, points out of five so for value um, for um, like a mix in the box uh, overall thought so you guys can read that and say well you know you can compare all three and I think it's a really good idea because they're the three main players really in the Korean market at the moment it's interesting to me because I obviously like Korean stuff so I will do that that'll be over the next couple of weeks that I'll get that done once I've reviewed every single one of them so I'm going to go now and I'm just going to quickly put stuff away and I'll be back to do um uh the competition for little known box and if we sell out tonight I'll be also back to do the raffle Okay, well, thank you everyone for watching um, and I hope I have explained that clearly enough and, you know, let's refrain from hanging them out to dry just yet. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Love you all and I'll see you in five minutes when I come back to do the competition. I might take this off though, you know, you don't want to see me wearing bunny ears all night. Thank you, bye. <laughs>